Hello folks, uh, 50 days to go, just 50 days to go. How do, what, what should we do to prepare for uh, CAT 2022? Right now, just right around the corner. 50 days to go, the, the, the phrase itself seems um, incriminating, like it's real. Now it's there upon us, Find it is there upon us. Uh, uh, what should be done? Tons of time spent um, uh, revising, lots of time spent taking mocks. If you're, if you're just starting, even then take mocks, even then just revise. And so there are kind of two parts of learning. One is learning new ideas, and there is consolidating learning. And so consolidating learning makes the ideas fresh in your head. Uh, learning new ideas makes them makes a new layer get added. Right now is the time to drop, drop, dump the learning part and go very aggressively to the consolidating part. And so if you're talking about topics that uh, some topic don't work for you, binomial theorem doesn't work for you, trigonometry doesn't work for you, all of geometry doesn't work for you, uh, simply para jump doesn't work at all. Dump, dump, dump. Be ruthless in dumping. If you think like you're very good at pipe and distance questions, do two more 10 question sets push it right up to the top so that you are super comfortable with this. And so, one of very interesting thing one of our students said is, suppose I do a bunch of practice tests on one topic and then I take a mock within the next 12 hours, 18 hours, 24 hours, any question from that topic, I already feel like I have an edge. So the ideas just come out, I just go and grab the most immediate method really quickly. And so that's because this, this set of ideas that you have just revised, just consolidated, is almost like come to the top of your head. And the idea, the plan, the play is to make sure that you have a bunch of topics where it is like that. If you've done a set of questions on speed time distance, you look at a question and you say boat and stream. I have stream, stream, down stream speed, I know what the ratio is, I know, I know there will be a quadratic equation done. But the, the idea just pops out because you've done similar questions just, just like right now. I said done quadratic equation, the idea of sum of roots, product of roots is right here. You don't have to pause to figure it out. Make sure you revise and revisit topics with the idea of bringing this the set of fundas and concepts right up to the top. Where you revise and, 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 and say, okay, this I need to remember, this I need to remember. If I have a triangle set of triangles like this, I need to think about similar triangles. The moment I have a line cutting a circle at two points, I need to think about tangent secant theorem. So plant those markers and reminders in your head when you're revising. Narrow down your topic, amp up the intensity. Consolidate and revise. When it comes to the overall mock thing, uh, spend more time on kind of knowing what your play is. Now is the time to stop experimenting and say, look, this is my strategy. I'm going for this type of thing in round one. I'll skip these kind of questions. I'll definitely attack these kind of questions. After six minutes, if I'm not going anywhere, I'm dumping LRDI set. That kind of set of rules that you have to double down on them and become comfortable with the play because we don't have too much time to creep. So, uh, for mocks, spend more time on uh, how to select questions and less on learning new ideas. Anything where the idea is not automatically coming to your head, you don't even have to see the solution. Now on mock analysis will become very straightforward. Okay, what are the wrong questions I got? Nice. These two questions I got them wrong. Check that out. Those four, I didn't even try, but I'm never going to try them. Leave that. So the analysis time will get crunched because now we are going to double down on your play and not try to be this monster who understands everything. Right? Now it's also the time where um, pressure has its head more and more. Uh, there's an element of fear and apprehension that comes in uh, where you start feeling stuff like look i uh, if i don't do well i'll be letting down my, uh, my mother my father my teacher my professor my tutor uh, don't worry about it if the, the relationship is good they understand that you're doing it for you and not for for proving anything to them uh, and, and trust me very often very often too often relationships are good and we just imagine that they're not they're not so you are in it for yourself. You need to give yourself a chance. Go as much as possible, uncluttering your head and saying, look, I'm going to give myself a chance. If everything falls in place, brilliant. It doesn't, there are five other ways to prove myself. So as much as possible, de-emphasize the result. Towards the last lap, the outcomes start becoming larger and larger. And uh, not just outcomes, the different scenarios start looming. And what if all of this thing doesn't work? What if I still get that? The horror LRDI section where I'm able to attempt no question. All of those things come, those thoughts come to everybody. And now you're not alone in that. And the, 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 the fear of failure creeps in. Accept that, it happens. You're not going to be immune to that. Nobody ever is completely immune to that. And just accepting it sometimes is very relaxing. And then say, I'm going to, all I'm doing is to give myself a chance. I'll give myself the best chance. And then let the cards fall where they fall. Best wishes for them.